Governors across the state federation have joined in the commemoration of the 2022 Armed Forces Remembrance Day. We have a report. It's a large gathering in Ikita State, as the usual parade is observed in honor of the fallen heroes. Governor Kaya De Fayemi charges the government at all levels to be serious with the welfare of the families of the departed soldiers. We owe them a duty of care, we owe them a duty of support, we owe them a duty of prayer at all times. And we owe their family in the event of love, a duty of service all through their lives, so that we cannot completely expect them to forget the love of their loved one. However, we can at least ameliorate this a little bit. Oshobo, the Ocean State Capitol also records a large crowd of retired officers and men. Governor Yetola takes to the podium explaining his administration commitment to prioritizing the welfare of security agents, particularly that of the armed forces. Let us seize this day to recommit ourselves to the ideas of a nationhood that is reflective of the vision of our forefathers by taking responsibility to create a society that works for all, while thanking members of the armed forces for their immeasurable contributions to nation building high on behalf of our people, charge them to give more for our nation, knowing that no true and genuine service to humanity shall go unrewarded. At the arcade ground in Abiyokuta, 21 gun salute is launched. <laughs> the traditional laying of reeds. The release of pigeons, which symbolizes peace. Okay. Okay. Governor Dagbo Abiodun calls for the continuous unity of the country. And this day has been set aside to honor our fallen heroes who have sacrificed their lives for the oneness, unity, territorial protection from within and from inside of this country. So I, I think that um, it's a very apt to say that what we're doing today is in line with that line in our national anthem, that we must ensure that the labors of our heroes past are not in vain. The site is mutual in Adamawa state. The governor assures of security in the state and the unity of the country. The independence of this country is, uh, is non-negotiable. I uh, will continue to maintain one country and in peace and unity. And uh, we leaders will also continue to deploy development so that the citizens will feel better and united. Taraba State, also in the north, isn't left out on the day's yearly ritual. The government announces the donation of 10 million to the widows of the fallen heroes. While we remember the fallen as well as the living heroes, we must pause to consider the plight of the family they left behind. Notably, their wives, children, and other dependents who are in desperate need of our help. Distinguished legions, I would like to reiterate that it is the administration policy to continue to provide all essential support to air servicemen within the limited resources at our disposal. The Garden of Imo State, Hope Uzadima, is full of commendation for the armed forces, for their sacrifices and making sure that Nigeria wins the war against insurgents. It is a national day of reflection 
on the lives and careers of men and women who willingly submit themselves to the service of our dear country, knowing fully well that it might require them to die in the process. It is for this singular reason that I consider the military institution as one of the most noble and patriotic institutions in the world. Those who enlist into the military are quite aware of the inevitability of the consequences of their decision. They know that they have signed not for self-glorification, but to suffer and endure hardship for the sake of others. These men and women choose to travel this perilous road to sustain our unity and safety and to secure the nation against enemies from within the country and outside the country. Despite security challenges, there seem to be renewed efforts not to let the labors of our heroes go in vain. Ngozika or HSE for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.